We decided to have breakfast in the Britannia restaurant this morning. We had a little bit of a lie and I think we were set till about eight. Um, and yeah, the choice for breakfast is huge. Alternatively, you can order breakfast to have in your stateroom. Um, we had a breakfast ordering thing put on our bed um, and it is included in the price and there are a lot of hop hot options as well included in the price. Um, tea and coffee making facilities are in the cabin as well and like some cruise lines and uh, this cute teapot we were given at breakfast. <laughs> I have an omelette. I love the omelettes on Cunard. And I'm a bit of a streaky quake bacon convert. It's very American, but it's delicious. Um, and mushrooms are my favourite. But breakfast, what? The most important meal of the day. And Cunard definitely do breakfast right. Morning from QM2. Now, we've just had breakfast. Um, I planned to get up early and go around and take some photos, but that time never happened. Um... We are, so we went for breakfast, had a lovely omelette, um, and now we're going to go explore. So there's a bridge, um, a, a bridge observation room, um, it's the observation deck above, uh, below the bridge rather, but there's actually a room where you can see the bridge apparently. We walked past the door to it yesterday, it's not on any deck pans, so we're going to go and explore and see. Um... Enjoying our QM2 cruise, a voyage so far. Uh, she's a bit of a tired ship, bless her. Um, but the actual like crew and everything are fabulous, and the food and entertainment, and yeah, enjoying ourselves. Internet, however, rubbish. So to see the um, bridge view area, you need to come to deck 12, stairway A. Dave's gone back because there's an alarm going off. Around the, um, the observation window, they had lots of their um, memorabilia from first, vo um, first trips to certain ports and special um, occasions. It was interesting to look around. They had a lot of this on the lower decks as well, but it's interesting to have a little nose at. Loved looking at these portholes. You can spot a ship there. Then I wanted to see the planetarium and I hadn't seen it yet. And we'd gone to the theatre the previous day to have a look at, not to actually see the, the show. And um, I don't know in my head, because theatres are always at the forward, most forward end of the ship. I hadn't and twig that there's even forward more forward area so when i looked at the deck pan i was like ow oh, that's where the planetarium is so off we went for a nose this is illuminations the planetarium It was beautiful inside, um, really beautiful. Unfortunately, there were no um, like planetarium shows on when we were on board, but there were insight lectures in here, but neither really took our um, fancy. Uh, it's a shame about all these broken seats. You'd think they'd mend them, but I guess maybe they don't have enough crew to. Um, yeah, really beautiful venue for films, insight lectures and planetarium shows. We then went for a little sit down in the Corinthia lounge, which is a beautiful lounge. Uh, you can have drinks and light snacks here. And we sat here for the quiz in the morning. And potted outside for some fresh air on the prom deck. The cushions aren't on these sun lounges because it was a bit windy. So I think they were worried to blow away. But they were all, the other side of the ship was in bright sunshine. So they all had cushioned sun lounges over there. I love taking photos using the ship as a frame. If you follow my Instagram, you you will know. <laughs> the aft decks of the ship were busy on the sea day as people sat out and enjoying a drink, enjoying the view. People in the hot tub, um, some kids in the pool. We've got a lot of kids on board. It surprised me as it wasn't school holidays, but different countries could have school holidays at different times. Or people homeschooled kids. Oh, my favourite view ever, the wake view. Um, just beautiful. I mean, you can feel you're in the Caribbean Sea looking at this, not the, the North Sea, but it's beautiful. 
and yeah my signature shots really ship and wake view <laughs> here's a central view people in the hot tub enjoying themselves and there's this more sort of side view just it's a lovely ship she's a beautiful ship um she does need tender loving care as we've said but uh, she's still gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um and some some more after views <laughs> um and more prom deck views uh I'll never tire of walking around around the circles on a prom deck on a beautiful ship or ocean liner, as Mary is. My bridge, where we were earlier. I'm out at sea. Ooh, it's a bit windy. Lunch menu was extensive and nice, but we just didn't fancy anything, so we went back to the Golden Lion for lunch. If you didn't see my embarkation vlog, these windows are actually inside cabins with windows out over the grand lobby. It's a novel um, inside cabin to have. Uh, I've never had one myself, but they look quite cool. So with most ships, there's a casino on board in order for Cunard to make money out of people. <laughs> uh, there's a bar in there and lots of machines, fruit machines. Um, yeah, loads of them enticing people in with their colour. Uh, and then tables as well for people to play on if they so desire. Throughout the ship, there are large, wide corridors with beautiful decoration on either side. And also dotted around the ship, you'll find lots of kind of um, plaques and wall mounts um, explaining sort of history of the ship and maybe famous ex-passengers on the ship and the subsequent liners um, that could not have had beforehand. It's just fascinating. These maps were useful, they were dotted around on the ship. Some of the venues you need to go like down half decks or up half decks in order to find um, because you otherwise you walk through a venue to get to, so they were useful maps, these. The beautiful Britannia dining rooms. If you own a Britannia um, stateroom, which is your insides, your bog standard um, balconies, then you will eat here and it's a magnificent restaurant. We ate all our meals here and it's beautiful. We had lunch nice and early because you cannot go on QM2 and not try the afternoon tea at half past three in the Queen's room. We turned up at about three minutes past half past three and the yeah, Queen's room was full. Um, I think it would, it would have been the last the afternoon at tea on Thank the majority you. of the cruise for people. Um, but we were sat in the Britannia dining room as an overflow and we had no complaints. It was brilliant. Um, we'd seen the Queen room, we'd spent time in the Queen's room, so we didn't mind having the afternoon tea in the Britannia restaurant because it's just as a beautiful venue, if not more beautiful. <laughs> I went for a nose in G32, the nightclub on board. You have to walk through the Queen's room to get to it. Um, so G32 is the, the whole number that QM2 was when she was being built. And the nightclub's nice. Um, they, they were keeping the extra afternoon tea bits there. Um, we went upstairs. It's a, a two-floor venue. There were people having a dancing lesson, bless them, so we left them in peace. I love these portholes looking through into the Queen's room. So there the people are finishing their afternoon tea. Um... Yeah, it's a, uh, it's quirky. I like, I like the G thirty two, the nightclub. It it looked lovely. Come to have a nose in G thirty two, and look, there's little windows into the Queen's room. <laughs> Wee. More window into the Queen's room. They're all doing afternoon tea. The um, we've had ours already. On QM2, you must make sure you look down at these fabulous carpets and up at the ceilings and lights. It's just a beautiful ship. Really, really gorgeous. Hi. 
having a little nose at the gala dinner menu for tonight. I'll show you dinner later. Probably gonna have the steak. More of these beautiful wide corridors with beautiful decoration on the side. A night, so we're dressed for the nines. I've got my royal Kunar ball dress on, and Dave's all smart. You look on your cruise personaliser before you go, it will tell you what the theme of the gala night is. They have a masquerade ball, a royal Cunard ball, a roaring 1920s ball, and a black and white ball. No, thank you. No, thank you. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Thank you. Dave's gone a bit over the top on the um, Etsy floor. Oh, you can see the dirty windows. It's going to be a nice sunset. We're sat on our balcony. Watch, we were watching the sunset. The sun has set now, but there's loads and loads of ships over there. Look, we thought it was like some sort of anchorage, but they're all moving. <laughs> oh, there's loads more over here. Hmm. I like the little place of Rotterdam. Isn't Rotterdam supposed to be like one of the biggest ports in the world? Oh, actually, yeah, no, Rotterdam would be south. I don't know. Anyway, we are sat here on our lovely little shelter oh. balcony. Let me walk back a bit and show you. Well, have you been behind? Mr. No Cruise Control's panicking. You're not in it. You're not in it. Don't worry. <laughs> he's camera shy when he hasn't had a gin or two. And then he's like, yeah. Oh, you can see my GoPro. It's all ready. I was taking um, videos of the sunset. And now we've realised it's about 11 o'clock at night. Actually, no, it's about half 10 at night. Four past ten, half ten, um, and eleven o'clock is when the pilot's due to get on. So I think I might try and capture the pilot coming on because he comes on just down there. So yes, I shall try and capture that. But yeah, the sun went down over there. <laughs> oh, it's a bird. I, I don't think we're very far from land at all on the other side. 
yeah, it's beautiful. I love it when the sky does those colours. I thought I'd show myself. I'm all dressed up for um, the gala night we've just had. So it was a black and white night. I didn't have a black and white dress. Um, so I came in my real Cunard ball dress, <laughs> gold dress. Uh, it was a lovely evening. We had dinner a bit late. Well, I mean, we like it late. It wasn't late. We, we planned it late. At eight o'clock. Um, had a lovely... What did we have? I know I had beef, I was thinking of start, oh, chicken satay to start, which is delicious. And then we both had um, a filet of beef, which was lovely. And then I had cheese and biscuits. And they had a white chocolate mousse though. Um, and then after dinner, we went to see the Commodore Club. That was the, about the only part of the ship I hadn't seen um, over the last couple of days. And then we went up to the uh, observation deck, deck 11, underneath the bridge, and I took some photos, and then we've come back to watch the sunset. And now we're waiting to see if the pilot comes, and if he comes on on this side of the ship. Um, we start the sailing up to Hamburg, at about 4 a.m., I think he said, sail up the river Elms, Elbs, Elb. Oh, huh? oh, off to 11 apparently. However, I'm going to try and film some of it on my GoPro. So I don't know if I'm going to film it up here. I've also been filming earlier. Now you can see there's a hole down there. And it's the perfect like uh, level for my GoPro to sit and peek through the hole. <laughs> um, we'll see. I'm taking some nice time lapses. It's like... It's a new GoPro and I've just been trying to get to used to it and how it works. Because my next cruise is a very, is a cruise, my first ever sort of press trip. I've been invited to spend four nights on a river cruise, um, cruising from Germany to the Netherlands, which I'm very excited about. Um, I've heard of a few other cruise bloggers also on it, so that would be nice, although the ones I've been speaking to are on the there's two trips and I can, I can make the first one um, and they're on the second one. But that would be good when I'm off and I can keep watching um, when I've got cruise blues. <laughs> so yeah, looking forward to that. Um, I just got an email out of the blue inviting me, which was very, very welcomed and exciting. Um, yeah, so I'll be vlogging on board that. And I'll probably actually publish those vlogs before you even watch this one. So if you watched this one, thank you. Please consider to look back and look for my Vivo Cruises, Viva Cruises, River Cruising vlogs. Um, it'll be my first ever river, river cruise. So I'll show you what river cruising is like if you've not done it. And if you have, well, you can see what Viva Cruises is like because they're quite a new cruise company. And the ship that I've been invited on is very, very new. Um, it only launched, a, well, a couple of months ago, I think. Um, I will find out before I go on, so I can say. Um, but yeah, can I do one cruise at a time? And now this one is sadly coming to an end. I need to read up and plan what I'm doing on the next one. Um, but yeah, I am probably going to love you and leave you now. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like cruising. Uh, in the next, well, I'll do a disembarkation vlog tomorrow. I can tell you a bit more about my cruise plans over the next few months. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>